Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Faber and I practice child, adolescent, and adult psychiatry in Upper Montclair, New Jersey, and I work with the Children's Institute both in Livingston and Verona, New Jersey. And today we're going to discuss sleep disorders as an overview, and then I will describe various specific sleep disorders. And these occur both in children as well as adolescents and adults, and for those who may be on or off the spectrum. And so we're going to discuss these in general and then be more specific. Sleep disorders are very, very common. And whether we're talking about insomnia in adults or things such as night terrors or nightmares in kids, they're very common. And the most important thing, particularly when thinking about children and adolescents, is that with sleep-related difficulties, there may be behavior-based difficulties seen the next day. And these behaviors may be as benign seemingly as some trouble with attention and focus, or maybe even more pronounced as in the form of major outbursts or changes in mood or impatience. And so it's very, very important to make sure that sleep quality is there. In addition, the amount of sleep that kids and adults need is often not obtained by people. And so we know for elementary age kids, they should be getting in the range of 10 hours and sometimes 10 to 12 hours in the very early elementary years. By middle school, we know that kids generally need up to nine or 10 hours of sleep. And in high school, it's eight to nine hours. Adults ideally should have eight hours of sleep. And yet we know that very often individuals may not get enough sleep either because school may start pretty early in the morning or teens and young adults are staying up later at night. So we wanna make sure that sleep quality is good, that the amount of sleep is adequate, and we always want to consider sleep-related difficulties when evaluating behavioral or mood difficulties in children, adolescents, and adults. Thank you.